Hello friends, in this video, I want to explain one of the configuration setting in the access group. Currently my operator is pointed to test app colon author access group and this has test app colon authors access group is uh, pointing to this application and this access group contains uh, uh, these many access roles and each and every access role contains access role to objects. In this access group, I have created a one custom access role and remaining all are OOTB access roles. And let me open one of the access role. So this access role contains a N number of access role to objects. N number of access role to objects. I don't want to explain too much about the access role to object now. And similarly, if you can open this access rule, it contains a n number of access role to objects. And let me also open my custom access rule. I also created one access role to object. So the purpose of access role to object is which grant or deny an access to the specific feature of the application basically specific feature in the sense uh, uh, specific instances specific instance for example i want to allow the developer to execute an activities at the same time i want to restrict a developer to execute an activities next one i want to allow a developer or a user etc i want to allow a person to open an instance or I want to restrict a user to open an instance. I want to allow a user to write an instance. That means to create an instance. I want to restrict a user to write an instance. It's like this. Uh, so if you want to perform or if you want to perform or if you want to allow or if you want to restrict uh, people to perform some of the operations on the instances obviously access role to object object is nothing but an instance so access role so if you want to allow or deny on particular access role to object so you can configure these access role to objects i will show you that i will show you that and now coming back to my access group my access group contains these many access rules. Now, for example, let me open my first access rule. Let me open my first access rule, test app colon custom. This access rule contains uh, one access rule to object uh, on which class? Work dash class. So what are the permissions I have configured here? Read instances zero, write instances zero, and remaining all are five. That means, I gave the permissions to the user to delete an instances, to read a rules, to write a rules, etc. But uh, I am restricting a user to create a new instances or to read an existing instances. That's that means any user cannot create an instance. Any user cannot create an instance. I gave such a permissions in this access role to object, and this access role to object contains this access role. Now come back to your access group. Let me open one more Pega rules sysadmin4. This also contains the n number of access role to objects. One of the access role to objects is work dash because the same access role to object I also created in the custom. Here also there is a read instances 5 and write instances 5. But there I gave the read instances 0, write instances 0. That means uh, in one of the access role, I gave the permissions to read and write an instances to a user. In one of the access role, I did not give the permissions to read an instances and write an instances. So in this case, what is the behavior or in this case, what would be the behavior? Now go back to test app colon authors. Now here, there is a checkbox, uh, stop access checking once the relevant access access of role to object instance explicitly denies or grant an access so how the pega prpc how pega prpc analyzing or evaluating all these access roles and which contains access role to objects because the same access role to object contains 
in multiple access roles not only single access role same access role to object contains multiple access roles so in that case what is the behavior in that case what is the behavior now let me run one of the test case type let me run one of the test case type test now when i click on save and run what is happening pega is creating a one new instance pega is creating a one case instance pega is creating a one object or pega is creating a one instance for this a test class or for this a test case type let's see whether it is creating or not we will see that what is happening okay uh, click on save and run let me refresh it Click on save and run. New instance got created now. Let's see that. New instance, a T12003 instance got created. Fine. Now, actually, as per my access group, I gave the multiple access roles, but uh, in the first access role, in the first access role, let's open that in the first access role. For work dash class, write instances, I gave it as zero. That means um, I am not allowed to create an instances. But why Pega is creating that? Why Pega is allowing me to create an instance? Here already I created an instance. So let's come back here. See this one. The same access role to object on the work dash class is also available in the sysadmin4. In the Pega rule sysadmin4. Come down here. And let's uh, go to the work dash class. Here also, write instances. Read instances 5 and write instances 5. That means, uh, that means uh, if the same access role to object is present uh, in a multiple access role, so Pega PRPC is checking if it is okay. Order by the first one, second one, third one, fourth in a particular order. If the same instance, same ARO is present in the same ARO is present in the other access roles, it will take the lot, it will take the last one as a priority. It will take the last one as a priority. So the same work dash class is same work dash ARO is present in the Pega rules sysadmin 4. Pega rules this admin for that's why even though in the first access role you don't have a permissions but um, in the second access role you have the permission so pega is considering that uh, you have a permission it is taking the second one as a priority it is taking the second one as a priority now at the same time just open the app that means you are you are able to create an instance now let me open a test case type now you are going to read an instances. That means uh, you are going to read all the instances of the test case type. Okay. Now I am just uh, making one simple change. Uh, I am selecting this checkbox. Uh, let's click on say. What is the meaning? Stop. Access checking. Once. A relevant uh, access of role to object instance explicitly denies or grants that means uh, once one particular access role to object is identified in any one of the access role either that is giving a permissions or denying a permissions let's stop it don't check in the other access roles don't check in the other access roles that is the behavior now let me run this test case type click on save and run now here in the first access role test uh, test app colon custom in the first access role test app colon custom 
see this one you are not authorized to create or to modify or a lock instance that means uh, in the first access role right what i give the permissions in the test app colon custom what i give the permissions you are not allowed it to write in instances because i i made that configuration don't look for the same access role to object in other access role because it is already identified in the first one if it is identified in the first one either allow or deny don't look for in the other access roles now what i am going to do next one what i am going to do is just click on test okay let me open one of the access role to object And also let me open uh, one more one one more uh, t double one five four zero okay and uh, i think it's taking the time See, you are not authorized to open an instance because I don't have a permissions. I restricted in my access role to object. I hope you understand the configuration of this stop access checking once relevant access role to object. Now let's make change. Save. If you want, you can do it for customer as well. Or sorry, case type customer. save and run now i am able to create an instance c2001 now go back stop access checking save not only for this create and read instances it is applicable for all the other access role to objects as well if you want you can try for other access role to objects now customer click on save and run you are not allowed you are not allowed if you want you can read the instances try to read an instances you are not authorized that's why uh, be careful unfortunately sometimes uh, you are selecting this checkbox without uh, knowing uh, without knowing uh, the proper configurations i mean proper requirements sometimes uh, so unfortunately if you selected this checkbox so uh, the behavior would be changed okay so i hope you understand stop access checking once a relevant a relevant access role to object so whenever you want to open an instance or create an instance or read an instances etc the work dash class is applicable right basically all the cases all the work objects are inheriting from the work dash class so that's why once a relevant access role to object that means work dash explicitly denies or grants either yellow or deny either permit or deny if it is identified okay you have a permissions go ahead you don't have a permissions don't look for other access roles don't look for other access roles i hope you understand this video thank you